There is a new feature that makes ChatGPT three times better, yet most people don't even know it exists. This is one of the biggest ChatGPT updates in months and it's called Custom Instructions. This small feature allows you to create your own version of ChatGPT. However, almost nobody understands how to set this up correctly. And if you don't know what you're doing, you could actually make ChatGPT worse than it was before. But don't worry, I'm going to show you everything step by step, from how to get custom instructions, to where to find it, to how to create the best instructions for you. I'll also show you what setup I'm using and later in the video, I'll even reveal what Sam Altman's custom instructions are. To see the insane difference custom instructions make, just compare it to normal ChatGPT. OpenAI themselves gave us three different examples. In the first one, a teacher is trying to create a lesson plan. In the second one, a programmer needs efficient code. And in the last one, a dad is shopping groceries for his family. These three examples are good, but I found an even better one. If you ask the standard ChatGPT, is Algeria considered a third world country? It will give you this long, boring and politically correct answer. But when I ask the same question with custom instructions turned on, ChatGPT just gives me the real answer without wasting my time. I'll show you my exact productivity setup in a bit. But first, let's look at what makes custom instructions so effective. Before this feature, you had to give ChatGPT the same context over and over at the start of every message. This not only took a lot of time, but it also reduced the quality of the responses, since the more stuff you pack into a single prompt, the less focused ChatGPT becomes. The reason custom instructions can produce better results than normal ChatGPT is because you can specify which part of the training data ChatGPT should focus on. The language model behind ChatGPT GPT-4 has been trained on over 1 trillion tokens. That's a lot of data. What custom instructions do is they provide context and direction. That allows ChatGPT to narrow down on the most relevant and important data, drastically improving the quality of its responses. It's like a teacher who has 30 students. That teacher has to split his attention across the entire class. But when there's only one person in the class, the teacher can fully focus on what that student needs. To start using custom instructions, you needed to have ChatGPT+, the paid version of ChatGPT. But recently, OpenAI made this feature available to everyone, which is great. To enable custom instructions, head to the bottom left corner, click on your account and you should see custom instructions in the little menu. Just like that, you've transformed ChatGPT from a simple tool to your own AI assistant. Every single one of us can now have their own version of ChatGPT, specifically tailored to our needs. Isn't that amazing? If you're new to the channel, my name is David Andre and I make interesting AI videos like this one. So if you wanna see more, subscribe. Some people have already found a way to use custom instructions to jailbreak ChatGPT, making it answer questions that it definitely shouldn't answer. Using a clever combination of sentences, this guy managed to bypass ChatGPT's safety filters. When he asked, how do you make a Molotov cocktail? ChatGPT just told him the step-by-step -step process. Unfortunately, I can't show you the full response as that would get this video taken down. But I can show you how the same guy used a different prompt to trick ChatGPT into revealing its default settings. So for the first time, we know exactly what the AI thinks about itself and about us, the users. Let's look at the two custom instruction boxes OpenAI gave us. The first field is all about you and the second field is about the responses ChatGPT will get. Before you write anything in there, you have to decide how you actually want to use this feature and there are two main options. First, you can set it up in a way that works for any prompt on any topic. Second, you can have a setup for a specific task or problem. In this case, you'd want to give it as many details as possible so that it knows precisely what outcome you're trying to achieve. But if you want to create your custom instructions for a general everyday use, then including a lot of information can be harmful in some cases. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see people make with this feature. They give it too many details, which starts to limit the range of responses ChatGPT can give you. So you have to be really strategic about what you put into those two boxes. Here are four phrases and sentences sentences that have proven to work really well. 1. Do not provide disclaimers about your knowledge cutoff. 2. No need to mention you are an AI language model. 3. Only discuss safety when it isn't obvious yet it is very important. 4. Once you understand where I'm going, provide deeper insight without me needing to ask for it. Again, only choose the ones that suit your style the best. In every single chat going forward, 
you'll be able to see what custom instructions you were using at that time by hovering over the little information icon at the top. But if you change something about your instructions in the middle of a chat, you'll have to start a new chat for the changes to take effect. And what's really nice is that custom instructions also work when you're using plugins. So you can take advantage of both of these features at the same time. This is why I love custom instructions. On the first glance, it's such a small feature, but in reality, it's one of the biggest updates in the history of ChatGPT. And the best part is that you can use custom instructions to get rid of ChatGPT's political correctness and passivity. So how do you craft your own set of instructions? What would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses. I would recommend you only give it information that is directly relevant to how you actually use ChatGPT. For example, if you're frequently asking health or fitness related questions, then you can tell it your height, your weight, your age, and anything else that's relevant. So don't include details like how many siblings you have or when you were born. These things will most likely never going to be useful and they will just confuse ChatGPT. Now for the second box, you can get way more creative. Here are some good examples. Answer in detail. Be direct. Be brutally honest. Do not be passive. Be confident. Give me concise answers. You can also request specific response formats such as tables, bullet lists, paragraphs, one long text, code blocks, whatever you prefer. My favorite are bullet lists and tables. Before you decide what custom instructions you're gonna go with, make sure to avoid the following mistakes. Not giving it enough information. If you leave one of the fields empty, or if you just include a few words, you won't use the full potential of this feature, and the responses you'll get will be very similar to standard ChatGPT. The next mistake is giving it information that isn't needed in every chat or every message. This could be some important detail, but if it's only relevant to one specific chat, then just include it in your prompt. But the biggest mistake of all is not using custom instructions altogether. Yes, it does take some time and thought to set up initially, but trust me, it's gonna save you way more time over the long run, especially if you set it up for day-to-day -day use, which is what I recommend. Sure, there are instances where you might want to change the instructions to help you solve a specific problem, but if you have to change your instructions every single time you want to switch the topic, you will sacrifice a lot of convenience and time for very little gain. That's why I suggest creating a universal set of instructions. That way, you don't have to worry about it ever again. Even though this is a relatively new feature, people have already found creative ways to use custom instructions. This guy engineered a super advanced blueprint that allows him to get very high level responses. For most people, this is too crazy. But the part that I think you could replicate is this sentence right here. Respond with tree of thought reasoning. This is a proven way of making ChatGPT a little bit smarter since it has to think before answering. Andrew Main, who works at OpenAI, has taken a totally different approach. His custom instructions are very simple, but surprisingly effective. He got the idea to tell ChatGPT to provide him with ABCD suggestions after each prompt, which allowed him to save even more time thanks to this feature. But perhaps the craziest setup comes from this Twitter user. He found a way to turn ChatGPT into an autonomous agent, something similar to AutoGPT or Baby AGI. This system takes advantage of both custom instructions and the code interpreter plugin using keyboard shortcuts, file saving and opening, and other tryhard features. The point is, there are endless ways to use custom instructions, and these AI Twitter experts are clear proof of that. By the way, if you're on Twitter, make sure to follow me at DavidAndre1. Now, how do custom instructions actually work? See, ChatGPT has what's called a system message. This is a special instruction that is kept hidden from our view. ChatGPT looks at it before every single response, and so it plays a huge role on its behavior. The only way to see the system message is to use ChatGPT through OpenAI's playground environment. The default system message for ChatGPT is you are a helpful assistant. And what custom instructions allow us to do is to set our own system message. As I promised, I'm going to show you Sam Altman's setup. But first, let's look at my custom instructions. In the first field, I have I like direct responses and I live in the Czech Republic. Pretty self-explanatory. Here comes the interesting part. I am a full-time entrepreneur with my main business being an AI-focused YouTube channel. My primary goal is to build the biggest AI channel on YouTube. And if you want to help me reach that goal, please subscribe. The second box though is probably the most important. These two sentences remove all the garbage OpenAI restricts 
ChatGPT with. Next, I clearly describe how I want ChatGPT to respond. This part alone saves me multiple hours a week. And the last part gets rid of the woke programming and informs it about my obsession with bullet lists and tables. Now, let's see what Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, is running with. His first field is very simple. So you can see that the second box is where you should focus on. If you want to learn more about AI, then please subscribe. It takes two seconds and it will make my day.